Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is actually what happens in nuclear power plants when we're actually gaining energy. We're talking about nuclear reactions. Um, that's when we split the, split the nucleus into fragments. And why do we do that? So let's look at this graph. And this graph on the, on the y-axis is binding energy. On the x-axis has mass number. And just a heads up, binding energy is the energy needed to break up one mole of nuclei into its, um, into its individual nucleons or individual particles, protons and neutrons. So for low mass numbers down here, they actually are, it takes, doesn't take a lot of energy for us to break apart into, the, into, their, into other separate parts. Um, up here also doesn't, uh, as you get to higher uh, mass numbers, it doesn't take as much energy also to break itself up into separate parts. So um, the most stable, as that we found through many experiments, is that the mass number is close to 60. 60 mass number actually has the most stable nucleus. It takes a lot of energy for us to mess with it and break it apart and do things with it. So all atoms are trying to get to the point where they have a mass number of 60. So things over here are going to break down. Things with higher mass numbers are going to break down. Things with lower mass numbers are going to start fusing together. That's, fu that's fusion, and we'll talk about that another time. Um, Okay, so uranium is actually what's typically used when, when dealing with nuclear fission um, and power plants. So what we do is we bombard um, uranium with high-speed uh, neutrons. What that does, it gets it to a very, very unstable uh, nucleus, and so it's able to break down much quicker. Um, this has a half-life of you know, a couple million years. This actually has a half-life that's much faster. So then what this does, it spontaneously breaks down into these products, krypton, barium, and then more neutrons. Okay, these guys are extremely unstable. This, when we're talking about nuclear waste, it's because these guys are produced, krypton and barium. These guys are nuclear waste that we actually, they um, have, are very unstable. They'll continue to decay, giving off lots of energy, giving off lots of bad things in the environment. So th this is when you're talking about having to um, be nervous about nuclear energy. It's because these byproducts are present. Now, um, this, because of, when this reaction, this is very, very unstable, so it has a lot of energy within the nucleus. So when it breaks down, it's going to explode and get, not, not explode necessarily, but give off a lot of energy. And it's going to heat up water, things like that, give off a lot of energy. And we're able to harness that energy to use things for, you know, power and fuel our, you know, our resources. So um, what, it, what it then does, is it gives off three, uh, another product of this reaction is three neutrons. And so what happens with these three neutrons, they end, then can start the reaction over again and bond with the uranium atom, and then so on and so forth. If we have enough uranium um, atoms, we call that a critical mass. That means that the reaction can continue and continue and continue without us um, having to do anything to it. So um, this is actually basically the basic component of how nuclear reactions or nuclear power plants work. Essentially, it's breaking down um, uranium atoms into and giving off a lot of energy and being able to harness that energy for, for use in other places. Um, so this is essentially what nuclear fission is. Thank you.